Thank you. Thank you for joining the first session for Azure Terraform Batch 309. So today is the first session for this particular batch. So how we are going to start this particular batch. Today, what I'm going to do it first, I'm going to give my introduction. After my introduction, then if you guys have any question related to your career related to the training course, anything, whatever you have, you can please raise your hand and ask your doubts. Now, so myself, Ankit Narula, I have total 11 plus years of experience in IT industry. In first three years, I worked in Oracle, Oracle applications as a techno functional consultant where we were writing SQL queries, PLS SQL queries, modding forms, and doing financial setups as per the client requirement in Oracle Labs. And then from last eight years, I'm working on top most two cloud platform which we have in market is Azure and AWS. I'm working on these two cloud platforms. This is about my of official my experience. And from last 10 years, I'm also giving the trainings also. So I have a training experience for more than 10 so this is about me any question now anyone have you can please quickly raise your hand and ask your questions Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to share some more details in the chat. But first of all, I'm going to share a WhatsApp community link of this particular batch. If you are not there in this WhatsApp community for this 309 batch, you can please join the WhatsApp community by using the link which is shared in the chat box. And I'll, I'm also going to share the logical app social media details also in the chat box. You can please follow us on social media and here I'm sharing the course content link. If you, if you haven't seen the course content, you can please see the course content also by using the link, which is shared in the chat box. Or if you're in the community, if you check the description of that particular WhatsApp community, there also you will get the course content link. And one last thing I'm also going to share is it my email address. So whenever you're doing practice, if you're going to join this particular course, definitely you have to do practice. And when you're doing practice, then at the time, if you have any doubt or if you're stuck with anything, when you're doing practice, you can email me to my email address. And make sure whenever you're going to email me, just mention your batch number. The batch number is 309. So this is about me. Now anyone, anyone wants to ask any question, please quickly raise your hand. Yes, Krishna. Yes, Krishna, Hi. you have a unmuted. I'm able to hear you also. Hi, Ankit. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I'm just curious to know like uh, how, how you started your career, especially in cloud. My company got the opportunity. My company, I'm working for the first of all, I'm working for the same company from last 11 years. Okay. 
so I, in my company they have the opportunity they got the project they want people from internally they want to switch it i have lower it and i switched it okay got it and uh, that's the this... best uh, e easy way to change your career in other technology if you're already working it just change it in your own organization that's the best option mm -hmm. i understand and uh, this course also has the let's say the the content for uh, interview interviews and has the interview questions as well right yes uh, let me show you what other things i'm going to share at the end of the training Where is it? On daily basis, you will get these things from our side, live training, recordings, and the training PPTs, which I'm going to use in the training. Means mm -hmm. Terraform configuration files, or you can call Terraform codes. Mm -hmm. Those you will get. At the end of the training, you will get these things. Got it. Thank you. Terraform term, Azure Terraform document, interview question, YAML document, Linux file, how to Linux commands also you will get and sample resumes and then quiz also you will get from my side. All right. Thank you. Thank if you, you join it at the end means on whatever the last day we have for this batch, at last day you will get these things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any more question? Richard, do you know is your? Uh, I'm, I'm slightly aware of it. I used it yes, to join this particular course. It is mandatory to have Azure knowledge. I mean, okay. not, I can't say that in depth knowledge, but basic Azure services like virtual machine service, yeah, yeah, storage account, mm -hmm. uh, virtual network, Active Directory means basic knowledge needs to be required, which is required for Azure admin knowledge. Mm -hmm. Those service knowledge is required to join this particular course. Okay. Okay. Yes, Rick, can you can unmute. Hi, Ankit, can you hear me? Yes, I can, I can hear you. Okay, perfect. Uh, yes, uh, I'm very much interested in this course. Um, I got the notification today. Um, Exavalta, just one quick question is regards to Terraform. How deep are you going to go into Terraform? Ricky, this is completely a Terraform training. Uh, okay, okay, very good. So, so this is only a like... Terraform training, so it means we are going to learn about complete Terraform. Yes, uh, this is a tool by Hasikov. Hasikov have their other tools also. So I'm not going to cover other tools, just yeah. only a Terraform I'm covering it. Okay, so this is Terraform, kind of like a Terraform and Azure complete together. Complete Terraform, and this is actually a Terraform training, but why it is mentioned as Azure Terraform? Because here we are going to learn about how to create Azure resources with the help of Terraform. Excellent. Okay. okay. I have a, I'm a, even I'm providing the training for AWS Terraform also. In that training, we are going, we are learning about how to create AWS resources with the help of Terraform. That's separate training. This is Azure. In this one, we are going to learn about Azure. To learn this course, it is mandatory to have basic Azure knowledge. Excellent. And will this help um, kind of like um, Azure DevOps kind of like work? So it's actually one tool. Okay. Terraform okay. is a tool. By okay. just learning this tool, but you will not get a job. Don't think that just learning this tool, you will get a job. No. This tool will actually help you to give a more privilege to your experience. This is a one tool in DevOps. Got it. Okay. I do have one more question. Can I ask? Yes. Yes, yes. Continue. Yeah, I try to pay for it, but it's only asking for uh, debits and credit card. Can I do a bank transfer? You are, are you from India or you are from which country? Well, I'm currently shifted here in Europe right now. So if you are, you're in Europe, so you need to pay in dollars. So then it is asking only for 
credit card or it for debit card it will ask for that no, if you are from not. india then you can do that in the no, auto automatic the payment link in the details we have it i am from india but i just came here for 18 months and i'm coming back so you me. can uh, contact our support team uh, I, I, I let me share the contact details or if you are in the whatsapp community you can also even uh, i will join the whatsapp it. community in a minute yeah Yes, so you can check their WhatsApp. Uh, admin are there, free admin. Contact Perfect. any admin. Ah, they will you. check and they'll reply you on that. Topic. Perfect. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Or you can drop an email to support to support team, which I have shared in the chat box, the email ID. That's the best way to get a pro easy reply. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Vasu, you can unmute. Hi. Uh, actually, I'm a beginner. I don't. I have no knowledge about uh, cloud and all. I I'm so much interested to learn and grow in a career wise also. So, can you suggest me how to proceed? How to start up? And uh, is this session is going to? I mean, without any knowledge, this uh, course will be useful for me. No. Like earlier, I said that to join this particular course, it is mandatory to have Azure knowledge. Without joining, without knowledge, you can't join this course. If you join this course, you can't understand anything because here we are not learning about how to, uh, what is this virtual machine, what is virtual network, the, and the, the Azure services name. So you can't join this particular, particular course without this knowledge. So how can, uh, what do you suggest for me that uh, from First, which you have, I have to, to learn Azure. Okay. You have to learn uh, Azure. I you mean, can learn Azure DevOps first. You can start with that. You can also start with Azure Admin also. So do we have the uh, courses also? Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm giving the training also in those things also. Okay. Is, and, is it possible to share the details with me to for the yeah. beginners how to start up? Let me uh, share our website details. There you will get the details about the upcoming courses. So if you go to this, look, let me share a link with you. So here I'm sharing a link in the chat box. By using this link, you will get the details about upcoming batches on which days the batches are going to be start. Uh, this one I do have actually, I have gone through, but I really don't know which one to start up. You can start with, uh, you means what do you actually want to learn it? Let me know that, that I can suggest you. You want to go with cloud? Cloud and I heard about GCP. Uh... GCP is also one cloud. Yeah. There yeah. Are th actually, major, there are three clouds. There are a lot of clouds in the market, but there are major three, pl three players are in the market. AWS. Mm -hmm. Azure, GCP. AWS is number one right now. Azure is number two. GCP is number three. Okay. These are three major clouds we have in the market. Suppose I want to go with AWS. So, so what is the You want to join business? this particular course. AWS Architect Associate, which is going to start from today at yeah. 7.30 p.m. IST. Okay. Today I will join this one after today. After few means after a few hours, this particular a new batch today, I'm going to start it. So this is for beginners as well, is it? Yes, this this course can be joined by anyone means with any fresher or any experience. Anyone can join this particular course. Understand. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I've you. shared that particular uh, details in the chat box. Let me share. Yeah. If you are interested, I can share that particular community link also in the chat box. I have just shared one more WhatsApp community link. Okay. Thank okay, you so you much. You can join this particular link by using this link. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Anyone have any more question? Okay. Look like no one has any more questions, so we can start with the today's session. i tell you one more thing. Guys, total there are two demo sessions for this particular course. Then after that, we are going to only, it means only after that, only paid candidates can join the course. Today is the first session and day one recording we are going to share with you. 
day two recording we are not going to share with anyone means only with paid candidates day two recording is going to share and from day three only paid candidates can join this particular course so only two demo session we have it so if you have any doubt related to anything you have to ask on those day two but yes after day three when you are doing practice you can email me or you can ask in the next session whatever the doubts you have and i hope you all have your azure account also because definitely to practice this particular azure terraform you need to have a azure account if you know how to create a azure account that's well and good or i have a you can email me i have a video with me i can email you the link also how to create your azure account okay let's start with the what is terraform before starting of terraform i have one more question for you guys anyone in the chat box please let me know what are the ways we have in azure to create our resources Correct. The first way is a very basic way is graphical user interface. Any other ways? Correct. PowerShell, CLI, Azure CLI. Then one more we have ARM. So these are the four basic options we have in Azure to create our resources. But these four options, which we are able to see here, these are the options we have in Azure. But there is one more way which we are going to learn is Terraform. Is this tool providing by the Azure? No. Terraform, this Terraform tool is not providing by the Azure. It's providing by a third party company called Hussey Corp. Hussey Corp is the organization who started this particular tool in 2014. And by using this particular tool, we can work on any of the platform. I can work on AWS also. I can work on Azure also. I can work on Google Cloud, Oracle Cloud, whatever the clouds we have in the market. Or they have more than 4,000 providers on those 4,000 providers we can work on with the help of Terraform. And this Terraform is also called as infrastructure as a code tool because here it's all about the code. We have to write a code and it's very simple. Don't think it's quite difficult. It's very, very simple to write these Terraform codes. It's very simple. Now, here are the some of the providers I have mentioned in the PPT, AWS, Azure, EGCP, Oracle, Alibaba, VMware. Just mention only six here, but they have more than 4,000. Now, here is a complete list I have mentioned it. Yeah, everything. Now, where the actual count is mentioned? Let me go to their home page. Here it is. Four one six one providers. Forty one hundred and sixty one providers they have. And one of the provider is Azure. So we can click on browse providers. Here we are able to see. Now we have three types of tiers in Terraform, official, partner, community. Now first we are going to discuss about official. Now when I select official, AWS, Azure, GCP, Kubernetes, and few are the one coming under official. Now what is this official? Officials are the one which is completely managed by the Hussey Corp organization. 
here we have azure aws gcp are these managing by themselves no so whatever the official one we have officials one are only managing by the hasi corp organization azure is not managing their codes the terraform codes whichever we need it to write to run to create our resources azure is not managing those codes that's not azure responsible as on microsoft organization responsibility to manage those terraform organization codes no that is completely managed by themselves official ones whatever the official one we have they are only going to manage hasi corp then we have a partner partners are the one so in this one we have oracle cloud we have alibaba cloud and few more we have their partners partners are the one which is managed by both it is managed by hasi corp also it is managed by them also official one is only managing by hasi corp partner one is managing by both and then we have a communities community one is only managed by those third party companies community ones is not managing by the hasi corp organization it is completely managed by these own organization so which one we are going to learn about we are going with the azure one and azure one is coming under official this is official now click on azure so here we have how many downloads we have it here we are getting it which version they were using it here that version of azure terraform version they have it so it doesn't mean that this is the version of terraform no this is specific version of azure and here is the version of aws so every partner have of every platform whichever the one we have it here for this one we have a different different versions so depend on the requirement to requirement they are upgrading it and the latest version for azure is 3.102.0 this is the latest version of terraform we have now we are going to learn about how to download the terraform also in our windows machine in our upcoming session we will learn that now what are the benefits of using the terraform it's very simple and simplicity like earlier i've told you it's very easy to write the code it's very easy and it's very simple the only thing is you just need to know how to write those codes what are the things you have to read it before writing the codes it's very easy how you can link to resources like i am creating one resource group and i want to create a virtual machine under that particular resource group so it means i need to link my resource group to my virtual machine how to link those resources with each other that also we are going to learn in this training and that's very basic thing which we have to understand team collaboration so for team collaboration you can upload your codes in github also or we have azure repos you can upload there also error reductions this very rare chances we are getting any errors in terraform yes you have written an incorrect code or might be you miss some time brackets then we can get error but there is no manual errors we have it like to create resources i have given some incorrect data no that type of errors we are not getting it in terraform because while creating a from graphical user interface we have to click on multiple options multiple tabs but here we don't have like that we have to just give the details whichever we required and just 
run that particular code, they will automatically create our resources. And even that this is also considered as a security in Teraf. And then we have disaster recovery. What is the disaster recovery? If anything had happened to your resource, you just need to rerun your code. If you just rerun your code, they will automatically create your resources. You don't need to do anything manually, just rerun your code one time. So if anything get deleted, you can recreate that with the help of just one time. You have to give the command, they will create your resources. Now, here we have some main commands which we are going to discuss about Terraform. There are a lot of commands we have it in Terraform, which we learn in upcoming, definitely in upcoming session. But there are four main commands we have. Without the without these four main commands, we can't create resources or we can't delete the resources. The first command we have is Terraform init. Now, what is this Terraform init command? Terraform init command is used to download the Terraform plugins in our local machine. And do we need to run this command every day? No. This command we have to only execute one time. Like I'm going to create one folder. Let me show you also. I already have a folder in my local machine. Like I have this folder called Azure 289. So here I have that particular plugins in this folder called .terraform. How I get these plugins? Because in this particular folder, I have given that particular command called terraform init. When I run that particular command, they are downloading that particular plugins in our local machine. And this command is mandatory to run. And till that time I'm going to work in this folder, I don't need to rerun that command. Yes, I want to upgrade my plugins, then I can run it. Or if I want to download more plugins here related to Azure, then I have to execute this command and again. Otherwise, we don't need to do that. Or if I'm changing a folder, then, then I have to run that command. And it doesn't mean that you will create a folder and in that folder you can run Terraform init command, they will download your plugins. No, there are some prerequisite also we have to run this Terraform init command. What are those prerequisites? We'll learn in next session where we are going to start learning about how to download a Terraform in your local machine. Then I'm going to provide the details. What are the prerequisites we have for Azure. Next is Terraform plan. What is this Terraform plan command is doing? Whenever we have to create any resource in Azure, like I want to create a resource group. To create a resource in Azure, first what we need to do it, we need to give the code in our folder. After giving that particular code in our folder, we have to create a plan. We have to create a plan. So with the help of plan, we can easily read it. What are the details we have provided? It's actually giving a result in a proper readable format. So we can read the details with the help of Terraform plan. So we can check what is the name we have given it. What, what, uh, which, and like I'm creating a resource group. So which name we have given, which region we have given. Even we can read it our Terraform codings also, whichever we are going to write. But in plan, it will give us the result in a proper human readable format. Or if I'm creating a virtual machine, which virtual network I'm giving there, which subnet I'm giving it, it will give us all the details to us. Then we have Terraform apply. So the plan which we are going to create to execute that particular plan, 
we have to use Terraform apply. And without Terraform apply command, they are not going to create our resource. So it is mandatory to execute a command called Terraform apply if you want to create any resource. So to create any resource, Terraform plan is going to apply to execute that plan. So they'll create our resource. Now, after that, once we complete our practice, what we need to do, we have to delete those resources. To delete those resources, we have a command called Terraform destroy. So with the help of Terraform destroy, we can delete the resources, whichever we are going to create. And in that one, we have an option that I can delete all the resources, or if I want to delete a specific resource, how we can delete a specific resource also. We have both the options and we are going to learn about both the options also. How to delete all the resources or if you want to delete a specific resource, how we can delete that. And now, Duration for this particular course is 20 days. Each session is going to near about one hour. Session timing is as per our schedule timing. And if I talk about session timing, as per India, timing is 4.30 PM, IST Monday to Friday. As per US, and I'm talking about CST. Why actually I'm talking about CST? Because I'm in a CST time zone. I'm living in US. My time zone is CST time zone. So this is as per my system, um, as per my timing. If anyone from US, you can please convert if you are in any other time zone. So 6 a.m. CST Monday to Friday as per US. As per India, this one. If you are from any other country, please convert by yourself. Um, because I'm not aware of all the time zone, guys. I'm only aware of two time zones right now. And course fees is 2360 INR. And if I talk about in US dollars, it is 28 US dollars. And here I mentioned the course content link and even I have given the course content link in the chat box. I'm again going to share in the chat box. And if you are going to join this particular training, what you will get from our site. On daily basis, you will get live training, recordings, and training PDFs. I'm going to use PPTs, but I'm not going to share PPTs with you. I'm sharing PDFs. Means I've converted this PPT into PDFs. So total 66 PDFs you will get from my site. PDFs are already ready from my site. Here is it. Here are the PDFs, which you will get. So total 66 PDFs you will get from my side. And I'm not going to upload all the PDFs in one single go. No, on daily basis. If I'm using, like today I'm using two PDFs, I'll upload two PDFs. In next session, we'll use three PDFs. I'll upload those three PDFs. So whatever the PDFs I'm going to use, those I'm going to upload. And I don't want you to waste your time when you are, we are learning while I'm teaching you to make your notes. Don't make your notes, guys. Don't waste your time on making your notes. Because the PPTs which I'm sharing with you, in the PPTs, all things are already given. The theory part, whichever basic theory we required, or practical, whichever we are doing it, each and every single step is mentioned in the PDFs. So you don't need to waste your time on making your notes. I have already spent a lot of time to making these notes. So these notes, you will get it from my side. And this is you will get on daily basis. At the end of the training, you will get some more things from our side. Linux commands, Azure Terraform document, interview question, 
terraform dump yaml document quiz and sample resumes and yes to learn this terraform there is no link of linux command and yaml document there is no link in these two things but i have these documents ready from my already from my side which i am sharing in my other batches also so i am also going to share in this batch also but yes these things you will get at the end of the trading means on last day of this batch and this is about from my side now any question anyone have please quickly raise your hand yes yogesh Yes, you guess you can unmute and ask your question. Okay. So I I have a query. Just like a, I want to learn Azure Terraform or Git and GitHub Actions, uh, like some of these tools in uh, in one month. So do you have uh, the different batches for all this? You want to learn Terraform, you want to learn GitHub also. Yeah, GitHub, GitHub Actions. First, now, for Terraform, we have a complete separate batch. For There is no training. We are not providing training on GitHub Actions. We are providing mm -hmm. training on basic training on GitHub, and that's a part mm -hmm. of the DevOps course. GitHub, for GitHub, we don't have any separate course. For GitHub, okay. is a part of our DevOps training. Mm -hmm. And Azure, Azure, Azure DevOps batch is going to start from 15th of this month okay and uh, what's the course content for azure uh, sorry your devops course you can please contact our support team they will share or you can go to our website mm -hmm. in upcoming batches you will get those details like earlier okay. i shared the link of upcoming batches you can mm -hmm. check that there also you will get okay or you can contact our whatsapp group admins also they will also share with you okay i'll check thank you thank you Anyone have any more question? Yes, Sura. So, will the Terraform cover? There is an Azure DevOps course, right? Uh, which one cover in that one as well? Or uh, could we want to take separately? Sorry, I'm not able to hear you properly. Can you please repeat your question again? So, there is an Azure DevOps separate one, right? Yes, that's uh, a AWS Terra AWS Terraform is separate course. Oh, no, no, Azure DevOps, Azure DevOps. Yeah, Azure DevOps is separate course. Yes. Okay. Uh, in that the Terraform will cover or we want only to take basics. It only basics of Terraform is covered in DevOps okay. course. In this not total the, Terraform will cover. Not the full Terraform. No, if full Terraform is twenty days of course, it will increase number of days. So we don't want to increase number of days. So that's why it's the basics we are covering into that. Thank you. Anyone have any more question? Okay. Look like no one has any more question. If someone has more question. Yes, Arun. Yes, Arun Kumar, you can unmute. Yes, Arun. Yeah. I want to know the batch today having na, regarding the 7 o'clock you told. Na, that AWS day. batch. Yeah, can you uh, share it once again in the okay, just link? Sure. What's up, can community you? link? Let me share. Uh, let me verify is it a correct link. So the link. Okay. I'm sharing a link in the chat box. And this is for AWS yeah. Yeah, yeah. One more doubt. Actually, I am one of the non uh, non IT background and mm. uh, studies or IT background can be shifted to IT, no? It will take certain time to complete this all thing courses. Like Definitely. AWS or it might be. Yeah. Definitely, yes, it will take time to switch from other things to IT. 
Arun. And you have to give a lot of time. You have to spend a lot of time for your learning and for your practice. You have to do that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anyone have any more question? No more questions? No. Now, next thing what we need to learn it is how we can download and install the Terraform in our local machine. To download and install Terraform, we have to go to Terraform website. So first of all, in our local machine, we have to download one file called terraform.exe file. From where we can download that particular one? From our Terraform website. So here I'm given the link. Let me just... Click on this link. Now, as per your operating system, you are using Mac, Windows, Linux, whatever the operating system you are using it, you need to go as per your operating system. And you have to download the terraform.exe file in our local machine. It's up to your system. You are using AMD64 or Whatever the version of operating system you are using, you have to check and download. So I'm just click on download. And here they start downloading the Terraform zip file. Now here I got that zip file. We need to first unzip. That. And in that file, we got one terraform.exe file. We have to store this exe file somewhere in our local machine. So I already have a folder in my C drive with the name called Terraform. You can create anywhere as per your requirement. You can create folder anywhere. So in this particular folder, I'm updating my Terraform. I already have a Terraform file, just I'm updating it. So if you want to, up, if you already have, if you want to upgrade with latest version, just replace your terraform.exe file. If you don't have, just create a folder anywhere in your machine. And under that folder, put that terraform.exe file. And then note down the path. We are able to note down the path of this terraform directory where we have stored our terraform.exe file. Now the next thing what we need to do it is we have to create environment variable in our local machine. So let's open environment variable. Here is it. Click on environment variables. 
Now here we have two types of environment variable, user one or system one. If you just go with the user one, they will create that environment variable only for the specific user. But if you have multiple user in your machines and you want to use for both, then you need to create in system variable. In my machine, I have multiple users. I want both the users can access this terraform.exe file. So I'm going to create in system variable. In system variable or in user variable, we have a one default variable name called path. I'm going in system variable path. And there I have to click on new. And the path which we have noted down, that particular path we have to mention. So click on new path. Okay. Okay. So with this, we are able to download the terraform.exe file in our local machine. And we are able to link with our machine. Also. Now, can I start using the Azure Terraform? No. This is just a one step. We have learned how to download the Terraform file in our local machine. Now we have to follow some more steps to download their buckets. Now, what are the ways we have it? So this step is done. Let me open another video. Here we have to download the plugin. So here what we need to do it is we have to create one folder in our local machine. So I'm creating a folder with the name Terraform 309. The batch number is 309. Yes, 309. So now in this folder, I have to provide the provider details. So how can I get those provider details? That provider details also we are getting from the Terraform website. Here I'm getting those provider details. And you can see these are Azure provider details. These are Azure provider details we have. And I need to provide these provider details in our local machine. And then in this provider details, I have to provide some more details so I can link my Azure account also. To link our Azure account, there are actually two ways we have it. The first way is we can link by using our Entra ID authentication. I hope you are aware of that. The Active Directory service which we have in Azure has been renamed as Entra ID. So with the help of Entra ID authentication also we can connect. And there is one more option we have called CLI. With the help of CLI also we can connect our Azure account. So first, in starting of our training, we are going to learn about how to connect our account by using Entra ID. And then in our upcoming session, we are going to learn about the second way also. And for that one, I need some more details. If I want to go with Entra ID authentication, I need some more details to provide in this provider file. Now, how can I get those details? So for that one, I need to log into my Azure. So let me quickly log in.
here I got the OTP. Very Sorry. Now here I need to go to the Entra ID service. Here I'm in Entra ID. Now in Entra ID service, we have to generate some details. Now what details we have to generate? We have to generate app registration details. How we can generate? By using app registration. So in enter ID, we have an option of app registration. So here the help of this app registration, we are going to generate some details to connect our Azure account. So click on new registration. We have to do it, but I'm not going to start this particular thing because if I start, it will take a lot of time to start this particular process. So in tomorrow's session, we are going to first learn about this thing, how we can link our Azure account. And then we are going to learn about how we can create our resources. In tomorrow's session, we are going to learn about how to create a resource group, how to create multiple resource group comments. And even with the help of Terraform, we can create our Git repository also. So I have one example for Git also. That also I'm going to show you in tomorrow's session, if time permits. Then we have other things, how we can create container, how we can upload, how we can virtual network and variables, how we can create users, virtual network, data types, conditional, local values, function, data sources, lot of things we have, we are going to start learning from. Any question anyone have, you can please let me know or we can end the session here. Okay. Look, guys, no one has any questions. So with this, we can end the session here. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining the today's session. In tomorrow's session, we are going to learn some more things about Terraform. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a nice day. Thank you so much.